This is the sub $100 Chromebook I did a video on a while ago. And in the comment section of that video, a bunch of you were telling me to just install Linux on this ARM based Chromebook. And then all of my wildest dreams will come true. Well, I tried to install Linux on this ARM based Chromebook and it didn't go very well. The world definitely does not seem like a better place on this end of the video making process. So brace yourselves for a whole bunch of incompetent man shouting at Chromebook action. If I can't even get past this step, my brain clearly doesn't think good enough for me to be able to do this process. I know it doesn't have Chrome OS on it, that's the point. Which is all your fault. Every little bit of it is your fault. And because of that, I'm gonna make you watch an ad now. After a long, hard day at work, I like to soothe my brow with a steaming hot cup of Linode. There's just nothing quite like a good, reliable Linux-based cloud computing service for all your web hosting and computational needs. Top it off with industry-leading customer support and you've got a winner. Try Linode today and new accounts get a $100 60-day credit. Linode. Linux, in theory, is good for Chromebooks because you can unlock more advanced feature sets than Chrome OS offers, which is about as advanced as a 12-year-old smart fridge. The problem is, this Lenovo Chromebook has an ARM-based CPU in it, which supposedly complicates things quite a lot, and that, mixed with my very successful history of Linux usage, <laughs> means this is probably going to go about as well as that time the CIA got involved in Cuba. Now, jokes aside, I'm actually semi-confident that running Linux on this Chromebook may not be that hard to do. A statement that's definitely gonna come back and bite me. Why? But the reason that I think that is because Lenovo has a whole page dedicated to Linuxing on their Chromebooks. Now on this page, they give two options of varying complexity when it comes to Linuxing on a Chromebook. The first one is a built-in beta feature, which is supposedly very easy to access, and that's the first one we'll try. And then the second option is just fully installing Linux on this little Chromebook. Lenovo even suggests specific distros that they think would work well on a Chromebook. Linux distros that just gently sip resources so they can work well on a little beta Chromebook. Now I really appreciate that as somebody that sees Linux as a disease you may catch if you hang around boring people too long. Anyway, with that, let's try the built-in beta feature and take it from there. Now, according to Lenovo, activating the built-in Linux environment on these Chromebooks is really easy. You just go to settings, turn on, username 10 gig. That is basically the entire storage configuration of the little Chromebook. OS update required, okay. Well, I guess that's some Linux over there, which means I am immediately scared and confused. Like, what, what, what do I do now? Sudo apt. That's, I know that Linux involves sudo apt, I think. Okay, let me Google it. With Google's help, I soon found a Computer World article that told me in detail how to do some Linux on Chrome OS. Hey. There's some Linux happening, that's cool. Now it took Linux quite a while to finish happening on the Chromebook. Wow, this has been Linuxing for ages. But once it did, LibreOffice was installed, which is like a freeware Linux alternative to Microsoft Office. Wow, this is really useful and a great way to expand the base functionality of a little Chromebook. Nice. Now you can also install GIMP on here. I was quite disappointed to find out that it wasn't the exciting kind of GIMP, but a very practical GIMP that lets you do photo editing and stuff. 
Probably not the most useful photo editing device considering that the display isn't very color accurate and the Chromebook is painfully slow. But it's nice to have Photoshopy software available for free. It's pretty cool. Now this is all a little bit practical and boring for my liking. So let's try and do something that is actually cool and sexy on it. Let's try and install some Linux Steam. There were three ways in which I attempted to install a not just useless Chrome OS Steam using this Linux developer environment. The first was to just blindly type sudo apt get install steam, which very surprisingly didn't work. My second method was to try and enable Borealis through crotch, I mean crosh, which may sound like gibberish, but Borealis is like a Google developed project to get steam games running natively on Chromebooks. But unfortunately, that didn't work either. Uh, of course it's not been released on this device, that would have been way too convenient. Apparently, Borealis doesn't support ARM based Chromebooks. And not meaning to spoil anything, but that's going to become the dominant theme of the rest of this video. My third and final attempt was to use FlatHub, which is like a local watering hole for Linux apps, which even has a setup guide specifically for Chrome OS's Linux environment. But despite even using the crotch tab, the setup failed. At which point I found a compatibility list, which did actually have a couple of ARM chips listed as compatible, but quite predictably, the chip in my Lenovo just wasn't wasn't one of them. Uh, okay, well I feel like I've finally exhausted all my options in terms of natively gaming on here using loser Chrome OS Linux. So now I'm going to try and install some proper neckbeard Linux on here and see if I can get real steam running using that. The research was grueling. Finding the best way to install Linux on an ARM based Chromebook was an arduous process. And after what felt like eons of preparation, I was finally ready. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what, what is that? Local host login, I don't know. And so I have to type in root. Now it's just in red. It's red now, and now I don't know what to do because it's not, how do I go back to it having, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna try turn it off again. Now I'm back in this bit without the red. So if I go root return, that happens. And then if I type in enable success. Wait, what? This didn't work last time. Okay, very nice. Now I need to figure out how to make boot media. Despite being very confused by the color red, I finally got USB boot enabled on the little Chromebook, which was the last bit of progress I made before I descended into a pit of despair. Okay, and then control D needs to happen and then it doesn't do anything. It's worked before, but it's not working now. Why are you so obtuse? Every guide I look at, it tells me to do this, but it doesn't, turning it off, for the ninth time and I'm gonna hold it for longer and then I'm gonna give it a minute so that it finds its bearings or whatever and makes itself comfortable gets a cup of tea okay arbitrary amount of time passed D come on control D why doesn't it work this time why if I can't even get past this step my brain clearly doesn't think good enough for me to be able to do this process. I know it doesn't have Chrome OS on it, that's the point. Now I've gone through lots of shouting and I've come to the conclusion that while I think it is technically possible to install Linux on this specific ARM based Chromebook, I don't think it's technically possible for me to install Linux on this ARM based Chromebook because it seems to be an extremely difficult thing to do even if you know what you're doing. As far as I understand, basically what you have to do is like create a Chrome OS install file on a flash drive and then like grow a Linux distro inside that Chrome OS install like a virus so that the virus Linux kernel uses the 
Chrome OS kernel of the specific Chromebook or summon, and I can't just download a correct kerneled Linux because a Linux savant hasn't made one for this specific laptop yet, so I have to make it myself, and I can't. I, I'm probably not understanding that correctly, but that is my interpretation of it. And I just think it's not within my capability to do it, because A, I don't follow instructions very well, and B, the moment the instruction tells me to do something, I do the thing, and it doesn't happen. Monkey growls come out and things get thrown around. It just isn't in my wheelhouse to do this whole thing. And besides, considering that the Chrome OS install on here has Linuxy features built into it, I think installing like a just Linux bare metal onto it is not even nearly worth the effort. So with that, please don't ever ask me to install Linux on random crap again, because all of this additional strain on my heart and subsequent reduction in life expectancy is your fault, random Linux commenter. I hope you're proud of yourself, and until the next video, bye bye